Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Faces Stargist and welcome back to Project Zomboid. In this video I wanna go over the top base locations in Rosewood. Now as you can see I have extensively, extensively explored uh, Rosewood. I've looted every single building and a little bit of the surrounding area as well. Now basically my top four base locations which I, I might title the video like that are as follows uh, in no particular order I'm not ranking them uh, you know as number one number two number three but basically the first one we'll be taking a look at is right and over here in the corner so this is one of the spawn areas so it's right below here you have two houses which are very remote and they are both uh, two building houses, I believe. Yeah, this one even has a garage, which is nice. Alright, it's locked. Ah, there we go. In any case, you have, well, basically a television, a washing machine, a bathroom. Which, you know, for a starting base is very good. You have lots of spaces. You even have a gun locker. You have a bedroom. And it's pretty much the same as with the other house. Oh, a tree is actually growing out of that car. That's interesting. Alright, let us actually take a look at the second house. Now, I basically didn't choose this location. Yeah, this one is much bigger and there's also a car and a tool shed which has a chance to actually contain a generator and i believe i marked it as such yeah because i already had the two generators needed basically it's a pretty good it's a pretty big house you also have a grill over there a kitchen of course plenty of bathrooms uh, it is a bit of a pain to defend but it's a good uh, excuse for you to level your carpentry now that was the first location uh, the second location would actually be over here there is this one single farmhouse it has these regular fences uh, but you can actually build around them and close them off and the fences will provide some sort of protection you also have uh, well basically designated farmland and there's also a chance for this area to contain a generator. And if we take a look at the house itself, you have a kitchen, you have a couch. Uh, I believe there was a television here at one point. A bedroom as well, and a library. You can close this off if you wish. If not, what's this? Yeah, fuck off. Okay. Now the next location would be this one over here. Now this one is basically already closed off. As soon as you clear out all of the zombies... Uh, there we go. As soon as you clear out all of the zombies... As you can see, it's a massive area. And it's already clear. It has high fences and everything. You can actually reinforce these gates because zombies can actually go... Uh, over them. Uh, you already have a nice pile of logs in here which you can actually just loot and turn into planks. You also have these high fences all around. And you have these like free trailers. Every one of those trailers has a kitchen and it has some nice supplies. Some of them have mini fridges, but you can basically build your perfect house if you wish. Now, the next and last location would be over here. So this is actually really nearby the town. All of these locations were more or less remote. This one is right in the thick of it. It is the gated community. You can basically have your pick and you can slowly expand outwards. There's just this itty bitty, uh, itty bitty area that you need to reinforce. And basically you won't be getting any zombies because these are high fences and they cannot actually uh, destroy it, at least not to my knowledge. Uh, but yeah, there we go. You have plenty of them, there's also plenty of loot in all of these, but the uh, risk is much higher because you basically have a bunch of zombies around that you need to clear. And depending on your settings, they can respawn, 
But it's also a nice source for you to actually uh, level up a bunch of other skills. So that's also something to consider. There are plenty of uh, garages and tool sheds around. So just choose one house and you can loot the other houses as well. And yeah, that will be my top four uh, base locations in Rosewood.